Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into one of the biggest infrastructure projects in the United States, the California High Speed Rail. Specifically, we'll explore the San Jose to Merced segment, a crucial part of this massive transportation project designed to reshape the way Californians travel. Whether you're curious about the environmental impact, community benefits, or the complex engineering behind it, stick around. We've got it all covered. Project Overview, California's High-Speed Rail Vision. California's High-Speed Rail Project aims to connect major regions across the state with a 500-mile high-speed rail system stretching from San Francisco to Los Angeles. This project promises to change the face of transportation, providing a reliable, fast, and eco-friendly alternative to car and air travel. Estimated to cost around $77 billion, this rail system is a significant investment into California's future infrastructure. Phase 1, San Francisco to Los Angeles. The project is divided into two main phases. Phase 1, which includes the San Jose to Merced segment, covers the most heavily populated corridors between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Phase 2 will eventually extend the rail north to Sacramento and south to San Diego, creating an extensive statewide network. The importance of the San Jose to Merced segment. This segment connects Silicon Valley with the Central Valley, two areas that represent very different aspects of California's economy and culture. On one end, we have San Jose, the tech capital of the world, and on the other, Merced, part of California's agricultural heartland. By linking these two regions, the rail aims to foster economic growth and create more accessibility for people and businesses across the state. Route and Infrastructure Highlights Let's break down the route and some of the engineering highlights along this segment. Key Stations, San Jose, Gilroy, and Merced The train will make stops in San Jose, Gilroy, and Merced. San Jose Diridon Station will serve as a major transit hub, connecting high-speed rail to other local and regional services like BART, Caltrain, and Amtrak. Gilroy Station is strategically placed to offer Central Valley residents easier access to Silicon Valley and the broader Bay Area, while Merced Station will link with other valley routes. Pacheco Pass Tunnels One of the engineering marvels on this segment will be the tunnels through Pacheco Pass, spanning roughly 13 and a half miles. Tunneling through Pacheco Pass is complex due to seismic considerations, soil types, and environmental sensitivities. But this design choice is critical for achieving the necessary speed and efficiency across the segment. Environmental sustainability is at the core of the High Speed Rail's mission. In April 2022, the California High Speed Rail Authority certified the final Environmental Impact Report Environmental Impact Statement EIR EIS for this segment, emphasizing practices that minimize harm to the natural landscape and local ecosystems. Zero Emission Transportation High speed rail is a zero emission mode of transit, unlike cars and airplanes, which contribute significantly to California's greenhouse gas emissions. Once operational, the HSR is expected to reduce vehicle miles traveled, helping lower emissions and improve air quality. Sustainable construction practices. From the start, construction has followed sustainable practices. For example, Recycled materials are used wherever possible, water is conserved on site, and local labor is prioritized. The authority has partnered with environmental experts to ensure that sensitive habitats, particularly in areas like the Pacheco Pass, are protected during construction. Building a project of this magnitude requires not just technical expertise, but also meaningful community engagement. The California High Speed Rail Authority has made significant efforts to involve the public and local stakeholders in planning and decision making. Public forums and working groups. Throughout the project's development, the authority has hosted numerous public meetings, forums and working groups to gather input from residents, businesses and advocacy groups. These sessions allow local voices to shape the project from station placement to construction practices. 
Community Benefits The project brings potential benefits to local communities beyond transportation. For example, improved access to jobs, educational institutions, and healthcare services across regions may have a profound impact on residents' quality of life. Additionally, each new station is expected to serve as a catalyst for economic growth, attracting businesses and development to areas like Gilroy and Merced. Economic Impact and Job Creation Besides its environmental and community benefits, the High Speed Rail Project promises significant economic returns for California. Job Creation and Local Economy Boost construction of the San Jose to Merced segment alone is expected to create thousands of jobs. These range from high-skilled engineering roles to construction and project management positions. Notably, the project is committed to hiring local workers whenever possible, helping boost employment in communities along the route. Long-term economic growth. Beyond construction, the rail system is expected to attract businesses and promote economic development around stations. In Gilroy, for instance, planners anticipate a transformation of the downtown area, with new businesses emerging to serve both residents and travelers. Additionally, by connecting Silicon Valley with Central Valley cities like Merced, the rail will make it easier for workers to access high-paying jobs in tech while residing in more affordable areas. Technical and Engineering Challenges Building a high-speed rail across such a geologically diverse area comes with unique engineering challenges. Seismic safety. California's seismic activity is a major consideration, especially in the Pacheco Pass region. The rail's design incorporates earthquake-resistant technology to keep passengers safe even in the event of a significant tremor. Complex terrain and tunnel engineering. Tunneling through the Pacheco Pass means navigating complex rock formations and fault lines. Engineers have developed specialized tunneling techniques to ensure stability and minimize environmental disruption. Advanced Rail Technology The trains themselves will use state-of-the-art high-speed rail technology, allowing them to reach speeds of up to 220 miles per hour. This advanced technology will make it possible to travel from San Francisco to Los Angeles in under three hours, a significant time saver compared to both driving and flying. Future plans and timeline for completion. Looking ahead, the San Jose to Merced segment is one piece of the larger puzzle. The authority plans to complete phase one by the late 2030s with work ongoing across multiple segments statewide. Expansion to Southern California. The long-term vision includes extending the line south to cities like Anaheim and eventually San Diego, creating a seamless high-speed connection across the state, potential extensions to Sacramento and beyond. There's also talk of extending the rail north to Sacramento in future phases. This would make high-speed rail accessible to even more Californians, further enhancing the project's statewide impact. The California High Speed Rail Project, and specifically the San Jose to Merced segment, represents a bold step toward a greener, more connected future for California. It's more than just a transportation project. It's a commitment to sustainable growth, economic opportunity, and accessibility for all Californians. From the groundbreaking tunnels of Pacheco Pass to the bustling future hubs at San Jose Diridon, this rail system is set to transform the way we move across this diverse state. Thank you for watching. If you found this deep dive into California's high-speed rail project insightful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and stay tuned for updates on this transformative journey. Until next time.